Hi, uh, this video is about sub VI. Okay, so I'm using the LabVIEW, uh, which stands for the Laboratory Virtual Instrument Engineering Workbench. Uh, it is a graphical programming environment made by the National Intru Instrument www.ni.com. Uh, VI stands for Virtual Instrument, and sub VI uh, refers to VI that is going to be called by another VI. So you can think of uh, you can think of uh, uh, sub VI as a small subroutine in traditional program, and like C, C++, and Java, and it helps to break your code into small pieces and easy to debug and and make your program modular. So if your big program is writing one big code, you make the small uh, routines. Uh, similarly, here if you think as a VI as a as a main program, you can create the small sub VI as a small subroutine, and this sub VI make a um, big uh, VI, so easy to debug. Okay, um, any VI can be configured to work as a sub VI. Um, objective here, I will create one sub VI which acts as a thermocouple. Uh, thermocouple which is connect, you can uh, that thermocouple can be used to get the temperature of the mortar or any boiler or any place like that. Uh, it will take some base temperature like 70 degree. For example, let's say if I give 70 degree, it will give me output between 70 to 80. Okay, and if I give the base temperature of 50, then output will be 50 to 60 and so on. And next thing, I will change the default icon to display the thermocouple. So, this is the objective. I am going to create the demo doing this. Uh, so, I am going to create one block diagram, and I will change this um, default icon. Okay. So, let's start. Uh, so, f first thing, uh, I will open the blank VI here. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, okay. So, this is the front panel here. And this will be my block diagram here. Okay, so if I start with the, f uh, let me just push. Uh, when I right click on this one, I will push the pin so it will stay on uh, on my screen here. I need the two uh, numeric control. So this will be my input, and this will be my output here. Okay, so I say okay. Uh, temperature input. And this will be my temperature output here. Okay. Get rid of two. Okay. So this is uh, control. This is indicator. Okay. Now uh, let me close for now. Uh, here I go to uh, block diagram, and then what I need here is that let me push this one little bit side to make a space. First thing I need the random generators. So I go numeric and I pick this random generator it will generate any number between 0 to 1 so I will next multiply it by 10 so this multiplies the two inputs so one will be this uh, uh, random here number second thing will be create constant and that will be 10 okay. so that is my uh, multiplier but uh, this is created between 0 to 1 I am multiplying it and then um, I what I will do I will uh, create one nearest 0 okay, so I am adding it first I, I can do that as well so to be consistent let me uh, okay so I will add add this number with your input so output of this one it will go as a one input of the addition and this is the input that the user give okay and then i am going to uh, give this uh, make it near a zero so i need round to near a zero because what will happen that this one will be like uh, something like 10.5 or 10.8 something like that Okay, so I, I want just want to make it uh, near a zero here. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I just connect this one over here, and this one will be my output. Okay, I can run the demo here. Okay, so I can 
uh, if I put the 50 here then my random number will be uh, between like uh, let me do one more thing easy to see here let me turn on this this is the highlight execution so it will slow down a little bit so you can see that the temperature varies here ok now it's 54 so output will be like um, between 50 uh, 51 I mean 50 to 60 ok so now it's 50 now it's 51 so you can uh, you get the picture here this is acting as a thermocouple which is connected to some some motor and we are pretending that we are getting temperature from that particular motor or any piece of equipment ok so that's very much now let me uh, change so when you create the now this is a VI but this one will act as a sub VI but uh, to do that we need uh, I need to do one more thing here so first thing I will change is icon here so you, this is the default icon uh, I'm going to uh, change it so let's say um, edit icon ok and uh, I will go edit here I will clear all ok so now it's gone I will go template I will pick this one so now this will be my template you can I want to put the one thermometer sim uh, symbol here so I will just go uh, search for the temperature ok so I, I know I have this one so I just drag and drop here so this is the one and then I want to put the TC here ok and uh, I can just drag in the middle ok click ok so now you can see here on the top this is your uh, icon ok now another thing to make it as a sub VI you right click on it and you say ok show connector ok so now you see this one changed to like uh, like table thing uh, I pick the one box here on the top and then I simply move here and uh, I select this one as a input as soon as I select this one uh, this turn to the uh, orange that means this connector is mapped to this input that is my input and now I'm going here on the right side I select this one now is black and uh, I will want to connect this output to this one temperature output so I select this and now you can see is orange and that's pretty much so now this is can act as a sub VI ok you ok and then I say ok uh, I give it a name uh, thermocouple and that's pretty much so this is we just created the sub VI now if I want to use this uh, sub VI in another VI so what I can do is I say ok file new VI uh, let me make it a little bit small here so this is the uh, new blank VI okay. so this is the sub VI uh, we just created what I can do I can just drag and drop here ok and now you can see uh, you can use this one as a sub VI ok and then you can uh, do whatever you want to do uh, and then create the uh, new program here but that's the whole uh, purpose this is a sub VI and then you can do it multiple times so let's say I want to call it uh, three times so I just call it again and now I have another sub VI so uh, hopefully you like this video on the sub VI if you like it subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching ok bye